welcome back to my channel i love to tell facts so friends today we're gonna look about terra del fuego it is the most southernest part of the world so that's why it's interesting and we're gonna make a video about it but now this is the eighth episode of our south american series i'm so happy but now let's dive right in Fact number one, guys. It is small. It is so small. Terra Fugo is only 74,000 square kilometers long. Okay? It is small, but it is kind of big for an island. Not to compare with Australia, please. In the east, it is the Atlantic Ocean, and the west, the Pacific. The south is the Beagle Canal, or the Southern Ocean. And in the north, it is a strait of the Magallan. It is fact like number two, guys. Turtle Fugo is separated between Argentina and Chile. Chile has two thirds of it, and then Argentina has one third of it. Argentina's side has 127,000 people living in it. And the biggest city there is Ushaya, the capital city. But now, let's go to the Chilean side. And there are only 8,000 people live there. That's a big difference. 127,000 and 8,000. That's a big, big difference, guys. And then, the biggest city in the Chilean side is Ponvenir. It is fact number three, guys. Turtle Fugo is announced as a region in 1992, before the Panama Canal was built in 1914. It was, a, it was an important navigation point for the ships coming across South America. It was so, so important for the turning. But now, the Panama Canal was built, so the usage of it declined. Who just wants to travel 12,000 miles when they can just travel 4,000 miles for the same destination? But, and then speaking of economics, the most economic activities, important economic activities are oil, fishing, tourism and home appliances. It's fact number four, guys. The name Terra del Fugo comes from Spanish, which means the land of fire. It just means the land of fire because when the Spanish ships came, they saw flickering sparks of fire all, all around the islands. So that's why they named it the land of fire. The native, the Yang Han and the Silkanam people wore less clothes. So they just uh, lit some fire to keep them warm in the night. Because it's absolutely freezing in the night. It's the southernest part of the world. And I think it is so near to Antarctica. It just goes below freezing in the night. It's fact number five, guys. Archaeologists and some historians think that, think that Tarot Fugue has been populated for many, many years by people. Approximately 8,000 years. Wow, 6000 BCE, that's a long, long time ago. And guys, two types of people arrived there, ethnic groups of two types of people. One is the Yang Han, who are hunter-gatherers. Hunter-gatherers are people uh, who just hunt and then move from land to land. But the next type of people, the Silkanam people, just stay in one land, farm, grow, hunt and do things like that. Silkanum people are totally extinct. They are no longer more. But the Yang Han people are like a few now. So that's the bad news. And the population began to decline when the Europeans arrived. I'm just sorry to say this, but they just arrived with new diseases, slavery, many, many things like that. So that's why the population began to decline. It is fact number six, guys. The most important city in Terra Fugo is Ushaya. It is the capital of Argentinian side. 
many 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 people visit there to just enjoy themselves because there's loads of things to do there ferries day trips or ships to antarctica many many things there but the chilean side Porta de Williams. It just has a fewer number of people coming because there's nothing to do there. There is nothing to do there except one thing. It has the only king penguin colony. They're the cute little small penguins. They're so adorable and they're cute. So many people have come to see it, but not as many as Shia. And the Chilean government or just improvising the tour tourist attractions like building new roads or ferry routes and many many other things fact number seven guys south american gold rush it came to the southernmost part of the world i think it's in 1884 gold is found in terral fugo in cape virginia i think it's in the atlantic side of the island yeah and many many europeans are arrived there many croatians i think yeah many croatians came there to seek their fortune who doesn't like gold and guys if you want to see my video about gold check the description below so now back on the gold rush lasted until 1984 that's 100 years of digging up plunging washing by then the gold has completely gone but still it just developed the economy of the country it just made like uh, i think it just made like a like new heritage there like many people uh, came to live there in case they found a in case they found a gold again so now it just just comes up the country just is just growing the economy back It is fact number eight, guys. The Turtle Fugo's water is considered one of the best fishing waters in the entire world. It is the best place to catch trouts and salmon. I mean, literally, rainbow trouts and brown trouts and Atlantic salmon. It is so tasty, fresh seafood. It's fact number nine, guys. There are many fishes there. Don't forget the animals and the birds. You can find a wide, wide range of birds and animals. Birds like woodpeckers, mangaline, uh, parakeets, many, many more, and many unpronounceable. And just don't forget the mammals. You can find foxes, beavers. I think beavers are like new to the delicate ecosystem or something like that. And guanas and anteaters, many, many more. So, guys, don't forget to go to a zoo or a national park when you visit Terra del Fuego. It will be an excellent trip for you. It's fact number ten, guys. The winds there. It is so heavy, so speedy. Winds can reach up to hundred kilometers per hour, sixty miles per hour. It is so so speedy and so hard that the winds can bend trees. Yes, I can't believe it, but still, this is true. The wind can bend a certain type of species of trees. So, so if the tree is like this, the wind is hitting over here. The tree will bend like this. So it just looks like a flag. and that's why it is called the flag trees it just looks like a pole and a green flag so yes and the yung han or, or the yang hu tan is a language spoken by the yang han people like a few people there and the food this is my favorite part the best food in there is seafood of course this is an island so guys don't forget to eat king crabs and salmon and trout when you go there it will be so delicious it will be like juicy and things thanks for watching guys i would just recommend for you guys to go there or to antarctica or a boat to antarctica or i think that's like an amusement park there so yes go there and then you will just have a good time thank you for watching guys i'll meet you next time with another fact